You know, when they don't understand, the first thing I do is, uh, you know, I, I get me a DoorDash. I, 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 I order them some nachos. And so I say, eat the nachos, man, because it's not your hoe anymore. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, sometimes you got to serve a nigga, you know, with science. Sometimes you got to serve a nigga with, you know, with, with intelligence. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. I had Rollo on here, and Rollo, yes. he was telling me about, Rollo the Pimp was telling me about how, and, and I'm going to ask you to break this down for me, Ken, because I, I wanted to hear your version on this, man. Mm. He told me about how, you know, he, he one of his girls, you know, she left him uh, for another PIMP. And he say some of them would call, you know, he could call them or, or, or they would call him and, and tell him, hey, I got your girl, you know, and mm-hmm. she with me now, you know. And some of them was cool, he say, but some of them was ignorant and he had to pick and choose the intelligent ones versus the ones who wasn't, wasn't really in the deal with the fact that she's moved on. You ever no get pill for no your part. bitch, man? What? <laughs> That's when I thought I was, that's what made me think I was really in the game. I didn't think nobody knew who I was. And what happened? And then somebody called, I, you know, my little female I had, and she wasn't giving me but $37 a day anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, at the time. But that was my game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? And, and so she, you know, she came up. You know, she then, you know, I went to the little spot where I used to pick up. She wasn't there. So I'm like, I'm like God damn. Okay, so I, you know, I was waiting there for a little minute. So I go on by my business. Later on, I get a phone call. I, I don't know what the cat name is, but he, he introduced himself, told me who he was, and told me that he had got the bitch, and woo, woo, woo. So, you know, I was I, I had mixed emotions. I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Because that was the only thing I had going at the time. Yeah. Tell, give me something, man. Was he telling me some in, inaccurate information or what? Well, you know, when they don't understand, the first thing I do is, uh, you know, I, I get me a DoorDash. I, 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 I order them some nachos. And so I say, eat the nachos, man, because it's not your hoe anymore. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, sometimes you got to serve a nigga, you know, with science. Sometimes you got to serve a nigga with, you know, with, with intelligence. So when they don't understand, you know, I kind of put it in their head on a whole nother level. You know, let them know, man, you know, you can break the plate. She don't eat that no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man, call mama, call auntie, call mother. Say, ain't no more Christmas with mama girl no more. Ain't no more Thanksgiving, you know. You know what I'm saying? She go, you know, she going to be in. She made a choice, and her choice is so happy to be Rolls Royce. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he, he said when it first happened to him, you know, he, he felt good about it because he knew he was solidified. It happened. But then once I hung up the phone, you know, I was, you know, I thought about it differently. Like, damn, he called me. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, he called me. Yeah, I'm like, that's a baby. Like, so I just had to go out. And give me another one. That nigga lied, man. I never feel good to get knocked, man. The first time I ever got knocked was right here in New York. Uh, A brother by the name of L.A.J., but he was really from New Jersey. I brought this bra named Keisha up here with one of my bottoms, uh, 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 CC, the bra from uh, Pimps Up Holes Down. We came up here, you know, we was on 11th Avenue. And uh, this dude named Lucky from Jamaica was riding me around, (laughs) acting like we was cool all the time, you know. They was working on me, right? But, you know, I wasn't green because, you know, I had plenty of gay. It's just that, you know, I'm in New York, so I just want to meet the peas, you know, meet, you know, like meet the Falcons, some type of shit, right? Yeah. So, uh, you know, so the nigga called me. I was there at the Carter Hotel. It's a little cheap-ass hotel, 48th and uh, 7th Avenue, I believe. And uh, so he called me and said, say, man, you know, ooh, man, I got the bitch, right? And, you know, I was... Kind of like, you know, a little salty and shit. You know, I said, I wanted to go off, but I knew the game. I said, man, you know, nigga. I said, man, this nigga got me. You know what I'm saying? I said, damn. I went all these years without getting peeled. I finally got peeled in the Big Apple, you know. But it kind of, you know, uh, and I had a Cadillac. I had a 90, uh, not a, was, was, was it, yeah, 95. It was a, what, what's this? It was a, uh, it was an old ass Cadillac, uh, 85. Okay. Yeah, it was 85 Cadillac, a white Cadillac, and the motherfucker air conditioner, the uh, heat went out on me, and it was cold as a motherfucker. So uh, I'm like, damn. I said, I can't even let these bitches hoe up and get the, <laughs> the heat fixed, man. I got to get up out of here because I was so mad, right? Right. So I get in the car, and me and the bra, you know, we drove all the way back to Milwaukee, man, looking like we was in a movie or something with icicles and shit coming out of our bras and shit. So, uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> but we made it home, you know, cold as fuck, you know what I'm saying? And regroup. And uh, I went and bought me a brand new Cadillac. At worst, I went and got me a few more bitches and I, 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 I peed up, you know what I'm saying? Then I came, I bought me a brand new Cadillac with some gold spokes. And I came back and I gave New York the motherfucking blues. Mm, okay. <laughs> I'm talking about these niggas in New York, they ain't never seen no nigga like Pimpin' Ken. Like I was telling uh, Hustle Mom, first thing I did, I was riding around the track and I was throwing payday candy bars at the bitches. Like, hey man, make it a payday Pimpin' Ken. <laughs> make it a Pimpin' Ken payday bitch, you know. And put all my cars on the track, you know, bitches walking over my cars, you know, talking about some, I don't want to be out of pocket, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so they were dodging uh, business cars, you know, and man, every time I knocked them niggas, I put a motherfucking ketchup bottle right by their wheel say nigga your game will never be thick as mine mine is thick as high as nigga you know what I'm saying and maybe they just really you know they just really start respecting me but this was the town and it's the town I first got knocked this is the town where I really built my reputation and my mm -hmm. name and you know you just it's just like any like the penitentiary you know you got the you know you come in there you got to get your shank you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. you got to lock in the sock right. you know what I'm saying you got to get ready to go to fight you know what I'm saying so that's what I did man and uh you know, uh, I became uh, legendary in this town, and you know, uh, it's a lot of good brothers. You know, Mackie, Jap, you know, New York Ice. You know what I'm saying, Bobby, all them niggas. I got a chance to meet all them, and you know, a whole host of other brothers. Man, I can't say everybody's name because I'm getting a little old. I can't remember like I used to. Yeah, I ain't see now. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, I, I, I ain't got uh, what they call it. Uh, uh, Alz Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. A pimp Simon's. Or whatever <laughs> they call it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, you know, so yeah, that shit wouldn't, that shit ain't cool, man. Uh, 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 I know, I know, uh, I know uh, Rollo. Uh, uh, Rollo just trying to keep it pimping, man. But Rollo, man, don't be lying, man. You know that motherfucker. <laughs> hey, man, that's the worst thing you can do. And I'm pretty sure that most people understand, man. You, you sit in the house, right? You got your gators on, you you job, you put your little motherfucking creed on, you ready to get ready to hit the blade. And uh so you call it, you checking your motherfucking trap, see, hey, 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 what it look like, you know what I'm saying? You trying to see what the money look like, no answer, you know what I'm saying? Bam, no answer. You get the Damn. call the you call the police station, you call the hospital, <laughs> you, know, you call the old folks home, you know what I'm saying? You call everything, you like, where is this bitch, man? You know what I'm saying? This bitch got out of what? You know what I'm saying? This nigga call you like, what you want, man? What's happening? You know what I'm saying? Your partner's like, oh, this nigga, then you get to ride around, you look at that nigga's funny, like, nigga, you got the bitch. You know what I'm saying? And those niggas be like, ah, oh, man, I nah, ain't got the bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know, finally she call you like, oh, thank you, Jesus. You know, what I'm <laughs> you, know, you, you know, I mean, don't nobody want that phone call, right. man. That's the worst mm -hmm. thing in the world. Cause you know, a lot of niggas don't tell the truth, but when you really, really pivot, you know what I'm saying? You pimping day by day. Day by day. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're young. So, you know, you didn't tuck her. Y'all done went to the jury store. She done picked out some jury. You done picked out some jury. You know what I'm saying? Me, Y'all done upgrade. Y'all done flipped the Cadillac for a bills. Now the note went from 500 to to $1,000 a month. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I mean, now you like, man, I got all these bills. You staying at the, uh, you, you ain't at the Motel City. You staying at the Hilton you or time. at the Four Seasons. So, you know, mm -hmm. your pimping feeling really good. And that bra don't make that phone call. <laughs> man, that's the worst. Worst feeling in the world. You're like, damn, I'm going to pay for this hotel. I'm going to pay for my car. Right. You know, and, and, and so any nigga that tell you that he, he he like a servant, it's cool. Now, i tell you what I do. I did do. I always tell the bro, hey, look, if you so happen to make a choice, you know what I'm saying, you, you want to get out on me, you know, you know, give the dude my number. Help him call me so I can know where you're at. And I won't mm -hmm. be calling the hospital and calling all these places looking for you. So I kept it pimping on that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.